Welcome into the money vehicle movement. In this short video, we're going to cover a holistic view of the money vehicle curriculum, one of the first curriculums developed for a high school classroom and audience. How do we claim that? Well, we're going to show you how money vehicle is storytellers and how we build an analogy, something high school students connect with driving around in their cars, their first chance of freedom. We use that physical connection to the car throughout the program, starting with the title, money vehicle. We want them to see money as a vehicle, as a verb, a tool that they are gonna take on their financial journey. It is not the destination. Each chapter will connect to and build a new aspect of their student's money vehicle. And we are going to connect all of these pieces together as we launch this journey together. Where does a physical journey begin? Well. You have to grab your keys before you can get the car to even turn on. Those keys in Money Vehicle are going to represent our income. We begin and introduce the entire program with the concept around thinking like an investor, changing and challenging how students see money, asking a very simple question of money is what to them today. We're going to have to introduce the concept of inflation and this monster eating their money. And one of the first reasons they're going to have to start to think and act like an investor. We'll walk through the difference between earning with your time and creating income with other money. And we're going to compare a wage versus salary, as well as one of the biggest questions. How do you prepare for an ever changing employment world? This be a pro mindset is around building confidence, adding trust and creating value in every aspect. The rule and takeaway here is going to be not just thinking anymore like an investor, but beginning to act like an investor and invest in your greatest ass asset. That is going to be you, the individual student. Now that we have our keys, we are ready to get started. But before you go anywhere, you got to set some destinations and plug into your money vehicles GPS. This is going to be chapter one where we start to introduce them to how the new money vehicle is going to be set up. Pensions, Social Security, not going to be a reliable source for your financial freedom. We want to give them a clear understanding of what one of their goals should be in the golden rule, spending less than you make but focusing on that keep, and that's where that investor mindset and actions come back into play. And then we have to set our rich goals, begin with the end in mind, setting these destinations. These are not mega money millionaire goals. These are weekly, monthly, and one year goals that are reachable, individual, controllable, and happy. And of course, we'll guide you to how to set these goals. The rule and the action here is to set those weekly, monthly, and annual goals for your students so they understand how and where they're going. You have the destination and plugged it into your GPS, but you want to get the vehicle moving. And this is where we will introduce the time value of money through our gas and our brake pedals. The first concept we got to introduce is interest. Interestingly, this is a key concept around the cost of borrowing and using other people's money. Then we get to introduce the eighth wonder of the world, that idea of compound interest, where and how money starts to go to work for you in creating more money. Treating your money like an employee is a term and a concept every student will walk away remembering where they look at every dollar as an employee and challenge which type of or are you. Spend or, save or, invest or, that section is going to really identify the mindset students have. Last but not least, we have to see that brake pedal, the opposite side of money working and how a loan is amortized and how it can work against us, but also be a resourceful tool. Again, we do not discredit the use of other people's money. The action item here in the phrase is going to be money is lazy and you have to put an X percentage. We like to start with 10%. I made a dollar. I saved a dime, but to work for you with each paycheck. We're starting to move that compounding of interest, but now we got to start grabbing that steering wheel and understanding which way we're going. This is going to be measuring the cost of not choosing your opportunity costs. How we're going to consistently find success is by creating and building our habits. That is 
unparalleled, unprecedented. We must create habits to achieve financial success. There is no short term. There is no quick trick or silver bullet. You have to build your habits to find success. Then we will introduce students to this concept of a cash management system, the money bucket system. We stay away from the B word budget because students have a negative connotation there. So we use cash management and money buckets. We're in five choices. They will get to direct every dollar that they make. Again, chapter two, employ your money. The walk away in the action item here is to begin to set up your money buckets using your burn rate, which will be your past and present choices, but to identify that lifestyle number they're gonna need on a month to month basis. We are out, we're moving, we're turning and making all the kinds of adjustments. And now we need to find a safe place to park our car. Well, that's gonna be your garage. The garage in your money vehicle is gonna be represented by a bank or credit union. We look at the business of banking and the differentiation between the two. We introduce the foundational accounts today, checking and tomorrow savings accounts. Alert them of banking rules, how to make it more efficient and effective to utilize these foundational accounts. And then as they get reports and research on what they're doing in their program, how to read your bank statements and alert any of those fees we can start to remove. The action item here for your students is gonna be setting your foundational accounts, checking and savings, and building that Corona cushion, which was formerly known as the emergency fund. But now we realize we have to prepare for all kinds of events, including things like the coronavirus. Where is the first place people make a mistake in their car? They don't check their oil. Where is the oil in your money vehicle? It's going to be your credit. We have to begin by differentiating between debit and credit, and that credit is a loan of other people's money. The credit trap, anytime your purchase ends up costing more than you originally thought, and that credit starts to work against you. Avoiding the credit trap, going back to chapter three's habits, we have to have positive habits, especially when dealing with credit and other people's money. So how to set up and avoid those traps. Last but not least, we dive into their financial reputation known as a credit score. Differentiate between your report and your credit score, but really identifying how a student is gonna start building this reputation through the use of their credit cards. We encourage them in the rule, in the action, to open a credit card, but again, to avoid that credit trap. Finally, we get to talk about that engine that roar, that power that moves us, and the investments in your money vehicle. We start with the simple basics of investing, do, re, mi. We'll dive into how Sound of Music connects in there. Then we walk into investing's free lunch, another principle around diversification. We compare stocks versus bonds, but what we really want to get to is how students can begin their financial journey with a simple investment philosophy. Be average, use an index. This concept of B average index is a financial literacy test in and of itself, but it will challenge your students to begin their financial investment journey by using the power of diversification in those index funds. And it's a great way to get started. The engine is starting to go. You're moving faster and faster and you ask yourself, what about all the risks involved? This is where chapter seven, where we introduce the airbag, the seatbelt, ways to transfer risk away from you is going to be our introduction to insurance. We walk through the cost to own in a premium, the cost to use in a deductible. How students today connect to insurance is again that physical car. So we want them to see how an auto insurance policy is going to work. But then we do take a step back and introduce to a lot of different types of insurance policies and how they are going to come into play in your student's financial plan. The rule in the action is to transfer the hazards to your wealth. Identify the items that are too valuable for you to use and begin to utilize insurance policies. Boop, boop. There goes your car alarm, that first line of defense against a attacker. Well, in our money vehicle, that car alarm is going to be our cyber defense, our first line of attack against cyber threats. We have to introduce students to how different the attacks have come from the bank line 
to online. Then we're going to step into the world of phishing attacks, different styles, different ways that these students are going to be identified as targets. There is a war and a battle going on. But finally, we get to proactive cybersecurity techniques, how to fight off those hackers. And our rule in action here is to start with a simple password. Well, maybe not simple, but to start with your password and then emphasize proactive cyber techniques. As we look around all of society, we have to appreciate what our tax dollars goes to support. This could be the roads, the police, a variety of different offerings around us that we can't overlook. Our tax chapter begins by one, changing the term to society. You'll see that throughout the program, but also why we need taxes. Then we're gonna go into their biggest expense in that net income. What exactly is going to be taken out? 9.3 is going to be how it is taken out in the progressive income tax code. So we understand what our biggest expense is. But then that question that has been asked for 40 years, why don't they teach me taxes in school? We're going to walk through the beginning of filing your taxes, the forms, the transactions, the things you're going to need and the language you're going to need to be able to present. As a placeholder, as a rule, we want the students to park about a quarter, 25% of their paychecks to society, and they will be able to identify that percentage and personalize it as they learn. They have gone through so many steps. So how do we summarize, synthesize this entire program into a single action? This is going to be the introduction to Chapter 10. When you look at your vehicle and want to make it a little more efficient or effective, you turn it into a hybrid vehicle. Well, when we look at our money, we want to turn those into tax advantaged accounts. Again, storytellers, building analogies. How do we take trimming trees and create a financial literacy around tax advantage accounts? You'll see that in 10.1. 10.2 will dive into each of these accounts, the 401k, the IRA, and the Roth feature comparing them and even introducing that employer match that everybody is so quick curious about. Last but not least, your best vehicle is going to be a section focused on that Roth option and why it's such an important feature for young students and early professionals. This action item walk away with $5, $50, 500 will be to open and begin their Roth IRA and to use money. Last but not least, we are going to have a section on how to read your pay stub. Well, the first section has got to be what the difference between a pay stub and a paycheck is. But these pay stubs will be our tune-ups. In our vehicle, we always have to have tune-ups to make sure everything is running effectively. Those tune-ups are going to be reviewing ourselves, our pay stubs, and our actions. Then we're going to go to a concept around employer benefits. What and how companies are utilizing those to attract and retain you. Looking all the way back to chapter one, those goals we set, how do we make progression? How do we not get overwhelmed? We'll introduce this concept of a game of inches. And last but not least, we will start to direct the students down this road toward their financial freedom, not retirement, financial freedom. The rule in the action here is money is a never ending game and you are going to approach it inch by inch in all of these pay stub reviews, finding ways to improve your system. A through line curriculum targeted at your high school students and empowering you as their educator is what money vehicles out to do. We hope we see you see the connection, the journey, the road, the atmosphere, but understand this doesn't go anywhere without you having the conversation in the classroom. We have virtual content because we know students are not reading as much as we'd love. We have a great textbook that can have an audible read to me version aligned with those uh, video pieces. But most importantly is having your resources for in-class discussions, not lectures, discussions around money. This is the Money Vehicle Movement. It is our mission to empower you as an educator to save you time and our vision to help millions of students start a financial plan. It's all available in Spanish and we want to help you more and more every day.